Let's look upon how to define item tracking codes for lot numbers, serial numbers, and to assign those to items. So I will go in my item list just to provide some examples. And I know that I have some item here, for instance, for serial number handling. So I will just enter that one to show you. In the item card, we have on the item tracking tab, the item tracking code. And in this scenario, my item has an item tracking code called SN all, short for serial number all. And it's defined in the list in here. So if you go into the list, look at the full list, you can find here as many different combination that you want and you can name them whatever you like. So we look at if we look at the S and all and we edit this one, I can see here how this specific item tracking code is defined. So I gave it a code and a name and I can see here it's about serial number handling and I can define all the parameters that I wanted to uh, respect in the serial number handling. So with all this check mark that I've done here, I need to enter serial number almost every time I'm handling this item. Whereas if I deselect some of all this, I didn't have to tell, for instance, when I'm purchasing the item or selling the item. So you can define here how it has to work on a serial number level, if it's a serial number handled item, or you can define lot number tracking and also expiration date handling down here. You could also define both in one go, so you can have an item that uses both serial number and lot numbers. This is my serial number. If I use look at the lot number for an example, it has, of course, no serial number check in here, but it has a lot of lot number check marks that I could set up uh, whenever I want to assign or handle lot numbers. And in this scenario, we also have check mark the require expiration date handling, meaning I have to define an expiration date when I make a surplus on the inventory from a production order output, an assembly order output, or purchase order. I have to enter the expiration date on the item. And you can also define the warranty date formula if you want to handle that and to, to uh, calculate it automatically when you create the item ledger entries on the specific code. And the last scenario, lot number and serial number tracking. If you want to use that, you can just check mark whatever scenarios in here you want to from lot and serial numbers, which is sometimes also the case. After defining your codes once and for all, you can assign them to the item card on the item tracking code, thereby make sure that Business Central will handle the item tracking for you all through the system.